welcome back to another video here on Eden Square. If you're not already, make sure you are subscribed and press the little bell next to the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Today I am doing a highly requested video and that is how I made my vinyl wall. Now I posted a video um, a couple months ago I think and it got a ton of views and people, the number one comment was literally like, how'd you do your wall? So I decided today's video I would show you guys how I made my vinyl wall. So <laughs> let's hop into it. Also I'm going to show you guys what vinyls I have and like just you know, my taste in music. So let's hop into today's video. Okay, so obviously for the video, I needed to pick up some vinyls because look at this, we have this empty spot right there. Oh, that all need vinyls. Oh wait, I also have some fairy lights on here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take these off because the that I currently have right now. We have Adele 21. We have one of my favorites, of course, the Blurry Face 21 Pilots album. And like, if you guys don't know me, I am a diehard 21 Pilots fan, so <laughs> had to put this one up there. I also have Some Nights from Fun because they're OG, you know, you gotta put them up. Then we also got Adele because <laughs> Gotta have them, you know what I mean? Okay, then we have Alicia Cara and also <sighs> her vinyls pink. Okay, can we just thank you? Um, I think they're yeah, none of those ones are colored, those are boring ones. But also I have it so that anytime I want, I can unclip it down here at the bottom and open it up. Oh, my record almost flew out there. Um, but I can open it up on the wall so that like I can actually see the stuff inside, especially because the Melanie Martinez one is <laughs> creepy but cool. So yeah, I have it like this and I'll show you guys how I did that um, in the video, of course. Then we have our Cry Baby album. Of course, you gotta have it. Anyways, it does come with this really cool like Cry Baby like, I don't know what you'd call this, like, book, but, like, it's got, like, all this, like, pictures and stuff, and, yeah, at the end, um, it gets a little crazy. Anyways, I thought her vinyls were pink, but I guess not. Um, I don't know who's, oh, it's, you know, you, hang on, hang on. Then next, moving on down here, we have our Mumfords and Sons. Um, they're a great one. This was actually Gabriella's and she gave it to me. Some of these were Gabriella's and she gave them to me. Um, next we have the uh, Coldplay. Yo, okay, fam, fam. These, these vinyls, oh my gosh, hang on, I need to put these down. Okay, so the first one is pink. I'm like, can we just look at how vibrant and beautiful that is? But then you're like, wow, Eden, that's so cool. We love a pink vinyl. We get the blue vinyl, okay? Hello, like, yes, these are so cool. So these are definitely like, in terms of vinyls, one of my favorite. One of my other favorites, of course, Vessel, you know it, um, is my clear Vessel. Um, I need to actually get a new one because I didn't take very good care of this when I first got it. So it got a little smudged. I might be able to wipe it off. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can see it maybe. Um, so I might get a new one of those. But then down here we have Panic at the Disco because we flippin' love Panic at the Disco. Like, Brendan Erie is the love of my life. He is one of my favorite people. Again, if you know me, I am obsessed with Brendan Erie. Like, I love him. Yes. Um, then we have the Taylor Swift Red, which, guys, I'm not gonna lie, she really missed that on an opportunity here. She could have had red vinyls. Just saying. Then, last down here, we have our Halsey. And she also has a really cool vinyl. Um, she has this light baby blue, but it's got like splats in it. So like you can see, it might be too bright. It, 
it's like really cool and it's got like some splats in it and stuff so this one is super duper cool I really like this one so <laughs> now we are going to fill this space right here with our new vinyls that we bought from Urban Outfitters let me put this back and then pull it out all right so these three I'm oh also just so you guys know my plan is eventually to make this entire wall completely vinyls so a record so like put on here 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 then there's like a little space up there but anyways so <laughs> these three records I am so so excited about I literally love these so much um <sighs> okay all right so starting off we have the limited edition AJR the click and I kid you not I called Urban Outfitters I called two of them and only one of them had one and she said I got the last one so like yes um the reason it's limited edition I, I think this is why is because but I think it's just so much fun to have vinyls that are like fun colored and bright colored and stuff so like those ones are so cool okay next we have the Macklemore Gemini and this one has it says includes glorious um, and some other songs from his other albums so I am so excited about this one I don't think the vinyls are different colored maybe I don't think they are Oh, and look it. Oh, this is for my fans. I love you. Oh, we love Macklemore. Oh my goodness. Okay, so then the last vinyl that I got today is my John Bellion, The Human Condition. And oh my gosh, guys. When I first heard John Bellion, I actually found out about him on tour when I went to see 21 Pilots. And I literally just had like an eye-opening moment and I was like, how have I never listened to John Bellion? Like he is literal gold. Um, <gasps> oh! Okay, guys, this one just got like a whole lot better because, oh my gosh, I didn't realize this, but apparently, apparently, this one, oh wait, how do I open this? Right here. Is ah, a clear vinyl too! I am so happy. Wait, that literally made this like 10 times better. I mean, not that like John Bellingham needs like anything to make him better, but like this just made it 10 times better. Okay, so now that you guys have officially seen all the vinyls and have seen what um we have here and what we're gonna put up, it is time to teach you guys how I made my vinyl wall. So starting off, I actually got this textured. This is textured. So like when you feel it, it feels like wood, which I think is really cool. And I think it really makes like a difference because it looks good. Um, I got this from House, and I'll put a link in the description um, where I got it. I just got the wood like plastic or whatever. And I got two sheets of it. And in perspective, my wall, I believe this was 8 by 10 I want to say something around there um, then for the actual records I used my handy dandy trusty friends command strips so I wanted to hang my records on the wall but do it in a way that it didn't actually damage the case itself because I didn't want to glue it or nail it so I was just afraid that it would like ruin it so I decided to use command strips because they pull off easily and don't leave like any residue behind this sounds like it's like sponsored or something but no so um oh this almost came out um but yeah so I just take one command strip and I'll show you guys how I do it and put it on the wall then I also use another command strip I did two for the inside corner right here and down here for the ones that open um like the Halsey down here I did one this one I just did one but um it works really nice because they stick to the wall really well and like I said you can remove them whenever you want which is totally awesome so I am just going to go ahead and I think what I'm gonna do is put this one here then I'll put Gemini here and then human condition here so um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm just going to grab my command strip 
Okay, then I am going to fold it over like this so that both sides are connected. Then I'm going to peel off one side and that is the side that I'm going to put on the record. I am going to put it right in the middle here. Bam. And then I'm just going to rub this on the record for about 20 seconds just to make sure that it, all the stickiness has been evenly distributed across all of it um, because like I said we want it to stick and the vinyls are a little bit heavy but I have never had one of these fall across my fingers now on wood that that doesn't happen okay so then we are going to peel off this sticky side and then we're just going to line it up I did about a finger width apart for each one a little more than a finger width then you're just going to line it up make sure it's straight and then you're going to push it on the wall and hold it for about 30 seconds. Okay, so then you can see it sticks to the wall like that. Perfect. Uh. Okay, so <laughs> my camera died. So um, what I was going to say before that was after we stick it on, we are just going to separate the um, vinyls so that it can sit for like 10 minutes just on the off chance that it needs some time to stick but because it's command strips you can take it off with no problemo so we're just gonna put the other ones on and repeat the same steps okay so because this one is a heavier record because there are two vinyls in there we are actually going to be using two sets of command strips just to make sure that it holds its place because I don't want it to start pulling down that happened to one of these is it started to get a little heavy and it actually started to pull off the wood like paneling so I am just going to do two on there just to ensure that it stays safely up there so we are doing Macklemore next and <laughs> look at all these great songs on here like <laughs> okay so we are just going to do one, we are going to do another one right next to it. Hopefully you can see that. Bam. Also, fun fact, I'm going to see Macklemore and Kesha and I literally cannot wait. Like this is going to be the concert of the century probably. I'm so excited. Okay, um, so I'm actually going to put this one back up so that I can use it for reference. Bam, okay, perfect. Then we are just going to peel the command strips off of this. Once again, also this is one of the most satisfying things is pulling a tab off the command strip, in my opinion, just saying. Okay, then we are going to line this one up here. Ugh. Okay, then press down for about 20 seconds. All right, so then you can see that it flies open and you're like, we don't want that, so already got you covered, don't you worry. We are going to take two command strips, like, oh, like so. Then, I don't know where my scissors are, so let me find them. Then we are just going to take it and cut it in half, like this. So we have two command strips, two baby command strips. Then we are just going to place it, like so, one, here down at the bottom and one up here a little more than halfway then we are just going to peel the command strippies and then we just close it like so and it stays shut and looks beautiful <laughs> last one we have my boy John Bellion aka one of the loves of my life if you didn't realize I kind of have a lot of loves in my life so once again just command strip on the back like this make sure it's all even then peel it and measure up and then voila ah! literally oh my I am oh, oh yeah. quaking this looks so good oh my yes and now we have a dance party with all the good music we just put up on our wall, but we can't get copywritten, so we gotta have 
a dance party YouTube style. Going to store at 2 a.m. You know I'm back like a devil. It's what I should have said. I had my first crush in season two. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Maybe you want to make your own record wall with all of your favorite records. If you like any of these bands on here, definitely comment down below who your favorite is or favorites because if you're like me, you cannot choose just one. But anyways, I'm going to leave it off right here. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. And we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to love the life you're living and stay till the end. So like to see today's kind comment.